Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Friday, May 5th, 2017. Shown here is the observed precipitation for the past seven days on the left and past 30 days on the right. The past seven days have been on the drier side across the area, but we did have a very wet April for most of the region. Looking more closely at fire danger across the southern Great Basin, here are the ERCs for southern Nevada and the Arizona Strip. These charts show an increase in fire danger across those areas with the dry and warmer trend that we've seen down there. Um, these areas are near normal but are, are um, on the uptick right now. ERC charts for the rest of the region can be found on the GAC website and generally show below normal trends for the time of year. This morning's satellite imagery show an area of high pressure in place over the central and eastern Great Basin with a broad area of low pressure moving into the Pacific Northwest. Like I said, it has been on the warmer and drier side for the last few days, but that's going to start to change as this low area of low pressure moves closer to the Great Basin. We're seeing some showers move into the western fringe today with some gusty winds in those areas, and cooler temperatures will be ushered into the region beginning tomorrow. Ventilation rates are going to be high for the next week or so, with the progressive pattern in store for the next week. So any plans for burnings should generally be a go from a ventilation index standpoint. Transport winds on the left are showing a pretty good area of strong winds over central and western Nevada ahead of that area of low pressure. Gusty winds could begin to move into portions of western and southern Utah today and tomorrow as well. Mixing heights are very high region-wide and that's what's contributing to those really high ventilation rates. On Saturday, that low pressure continues to move eastward through the Great Basin with continued showers and some cooler temperatures moving into western and central portions of the area. Ventilation rates remain high. Very gusty winds are expected across much of the central portion of the area as that low pressure moves in. Wind gusts up to 40 to 45 miles an hour are possible over the central Great Basin. Mixing heights remain very high, especially in those same areas. That area of low pressure remains with us on Sunday, digging a little bit further south across the southern Great Basin. Winds will die down on Sunday as that low pressure moves further south and east. The forecasted clearing index for the next few days are shown here, with generally high values, especially for Saturday and Sunday. Three-day precipitation accumulations shown on this image with western Nevada and up into western Idaho, seeing the best chance for precip generally today and tomorrow, with only light chances over northern Utah. On Monday, some moisture wraps back around this low pressure and enters the central and eastern half of the Great Basin, and ventilation rates remain high. Could see some light precipitation coming into those areas as well. This area of low pressure is slow to move out of the geographic area, uh, remaining around on Tuesday, and finally exiting the region on Wednesday. Because there could be a fair amount of moisture associated with this area of low pressure, showers are expected to move into central and eastern portions of the Great Basin for the first part of next week. By Thursday, a drier trend should return, at least for a little while. The precipitation accumulations shown here for days 4 and 5 show some of that wraparound moisture from that area of low pressure moving back into the central and eastern Great Basin, generally in the Monday to Wednesday time frame. The extended forecast from the Climate Prediction Center looking at the second week of May, the 12th through the 18th, is calling for below normal temperatures across much of the western U.S. with above normal chances for precip over northern and western portions of the Great Basin. This concludes today's smoke dispersion briefing. Please check back on Monday for the latest updates. We will continue to issue smoke dispersion briefings through at least mid-May when we'll switch over to the fire potential briefing.